I'm Daphne Richards. Our question this week comes from Allison, who writes, My Texas mountain laurel has a fine white substance on its leaves, and there are some places where the leaf is partially solid white. Any ideas what this could be and what should be done for it? Well, Allison, the white areas in your photo don't appear to be due to any external substance on the leaves. Actually, the leaf tissue itself appears to be white. The affected areas seem to have been physically damaged, and that physical damage destroyed the chlorophyll in those areas, leaving behind an area lacking in pigment, or a white spot. I can't be quite certain from this photo, but a few of the spots look like they may have been skeletonized. Skeletonizing is a damage pattern caused by the feeding of certain insects that chew the soft portions of the leaf tissue, leaving the veins intact. The white areas on your mountain laurel leaves are not fungal, from what I can see in the photo, just physically damaged and lacking chlorophyll. The good news is there's so little damage and the plant is so healthy that I don't think there's anything to worry about regardless of the root cause. It's old damage and the plant has now recovered quite well, so there's no need to treat those problems. Our plant this week is Carolina jessamine, Gelsimium sempervirens. This easy care evergreen vine is absolutely stunning along a fence, covering an arbor, or on virtually any sturdy structure that gives it ample support and provides the proper vista to admire its lovely draping style. If given room to drape over a deck railing, wall, or other elevated height, Carolina jessamine also does quite well in containers. Surprisingly, this vigorous vine can also quite easily be trained into a ground cover if you're willing to commit to heavy annual pruning and regular maintenance shearing. Native all across the southeastern U.S. and as far west as East Texas, Carolina jessamine looks perfectly at home in any garden setting. Whether your tastes lean toward a lush, green, historic plantation-style landscape, or if you prefer the xeric look with crushed granite paths and dry creek beds, you'll enjoy this drought-tough, low-water use vine. Carolina jessamine doesn't need a lot of water, but be sure to keep its roots moist in the heat of summer. The bright yellow, delicately fragrant, tubular flowers that cover this plant from spring through fall are definitely a showstopper. If given the proper support, Carolina jessamine can get up to 20 feet tall and almost half as wide. Plant it in full sun for the best floral display and give it a little extra water during the first year while it's getting established. Our viewer picture this week comes from Susan Tomlinson, who built this greenhouse all by herself. Susan lives in Lubbock, and you can see how she did it, along with other stories and photos on her wonderful blog, The Bicycle Gardener. Thanks, Susan. I'll keep my mental image of this photo handy as summer arrives and take heart that cooler days, if not exactly this cool, will return before I know it. We'd love to hear from you, so please head on over to krlu.org ctg to send us your projects, plants, and questions from your garden. Mm -hmm.